Yo, what's up everybody? It's Barbarisi from the Bronx. I just got my COVID test. Um, they put a Q-tip up both my nostrils and it didn't really hurt that much. It tickled a bit. And I happened to see the doctor that the day I went to the emergency room um, and uh, the follow-up doctor that the emergency room sent me back to to check my heart the cardiologist and he he said you know what he's like I want to do because I walked up the hill okay so Tito brought me here but because of the new outbreak um, they were not allowed you know to go upstairs with me so I pushed Weedy B up all the way up the hill it's like a big hill uh, in the stroller so I wasn't surprised my blood pressure was gonna be a little high but it wasn't a little high it was a lot high it was 167 over 96 the doctor I said you know what's so weird I usually feel when my blood pressure is high I usually feel it and now I can see why they call it you know a silent you know killer you know but I rebuke that in the name of Jesus because I know that the Lord is protecting me, um, but it was really high. So what the doctor said to me, he said, you know what? He's like, just double your dose. He said, I'm going to call you in another prescription. He said, he said to double, you know, double the blood pressure medication. So, um, you know, I was really, really shocked that it was that high. Um, I figured it was going to be somewhat elevated from walking up that that steep hill you know but i was kind of like really bummed out guys over that it's scary i'm not gonna lie i'm only human you know and like i said i this is why when i say about you know people got to take your health seriously and not mock people that have health conditions because you know you never know what can happen and you have to be considerate towards other people's health conditions um it's a very sensitive situation and tito bought me the blood pressure monitor but he bought me the old-fashioned one and i have that's why i told rita hayden i said i knew for some reason she would know how to use it but i have no idea how to use those things it's old-fashioned it takes a lot of training to use an old-fashioned blood pressure pump the doctor said he's not worried about my heart so I had to move my stress test till Monday at 2 30 because Tito works and they don't have enough they don't have a time slot for me for tomorrow also when I get home getting home walking home right now um, me and Chris are gonna link up on the Skype and make sure our connections are good but guys, please keep me in prayer. You know, like I said, I usually feel when my blood pressure is high. And today I did not feel um, that it was high at all. I, f I knew, like I said, that it was going to be somewhat elevated because I did indeed walk all the way up that steep hill, pushing Weedy B in a stroller on a D, you know, I had to re recline him back because he was sleeping and I don't allow my son's head to dangle down and the other stroller we have as you guys remember in the other video um, the t fl tires are flat so you know I like to make sure my baby's comfortable um, so yeah that's what happened and uh, I'm not I'm not afraid you know it's a little a little concerning of course but i have a lot of i have so much faith you know and the lord tests our faith in many ways like i said i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting it to be high like that today i really wasn't but it was so i just have to listen to what the doctor says keep praying keep exercising keep keep confessing in the name of jesus that i'm gonna be okay um, keep praying for others, keep positive thoughts, keep dancing. I'm just going to keep being who I am and have faith that God is not going to let me 
not to let anything happen to me. Like, God forbid, uh, I rebuke in the name of Jesus, get a heart attack or something. Because, you know, when you have high blood pressure like that, you know, you're at very great risk. And like I said, I was not feeling my blood pressure high like I usually do. Usually I feel it. I feel like someone, like Barbara Ray, you put it in perfect words, like someone is indeed pouring hot water over your head. And that's how it usually feels. Like my ears get real red and everything. I wasn't feeling anything. I felt great. I felt fine, you know, but it was really high. It's really cold. I'm shaking or freezing. So let me get home. I love you all. And let's hope that my interview today, nothing goes awry. All right, guys, keep me in prayer. Barbara Ray, you're still in my prayer. And all of you are in my prayers. I love you all. God bless you. And like I said, I got to double my medication now. So I'll be taking two in the morning and two at night. All right. I love you guys. Ciao.